Hello, and welcome back. Um, we're back in the unloading sandbox that I had uh, for the last video on this topic. And um, there was a question in Factorio Facebook group about unloading trains to make mixed belts. So I thought I would mock it up. And that got me stuck down a bit of a yak shave bunny trail. So I've got a bunch of new designs to show you. And uh, I'm not really recommending any of these, it's just to demonstrate a bunch of different mechanics for unloading and their trade-offs. So, this was essentially the scenario um, that they had, which was they wanted to unload a train of coil and a train of plates, and then these would be fed into green circuit machines, and then presumably go on to load up another train. Um, and they had various assemblies of yellow belts and underground belts and side loading to do it. However, using the um, splitter inserter trick, the easiest way to do it is to park your two trains four tiles apart and just insert into the splitter. Now, if you insert it into a single splitter, that would be roughly half a belt side of iron plates and half a belt side of coil. So if you stack two splitters one behind the other you get almost a belt full of both. Um, and because there's room in the car you can fit a second one in for a single carriage. If you're doing multiple carriages this obviously doesn't quite fit. Okay, um, however the original design on Facebook was yellow. So here we are, this is the yellow version. So this produces nearly saturated belts by double inserting. Now, we couldn't insert like that um, because the items are mixed. So you'd end up with interleaved coil copper on both sides. Um, and when the machine takes unevenly of them, you'd end up with one being consumed and the other backing up. So that wouldn't work. So you have to keep them on the same sides, which is why you have to do this kind of arrangement. But you can see how this would work. Um, you know, you could, um, where are we? Let's have a an assembly machine. Set it up with green circuits. Okay, and then we'd have a bit of the old in and out. Okay, and for now I'm just going to stick it into a voiding chest to get rid of it. But that would be essentially what you'd end up doing, right? But you're not going to support many green machines off this belt. Let's put a second one in just to test it. Okay, and copy the recipe over. Okay, so already we are pretty much out of coil. The second machine isn't running full speed because it can't get enough coil. So while this looks like a good plan, it's not going to work in the real world. Um, but anyway, nice idea. So what else could we do? So this double inserter trick is kind of cute. Um, we can get two yellow lines out of the one carriage because we've got room for six squares here. Each of these unloaders is three squares and that's a nearly fully compressed belt. It looks fully compressed. Um, there's actually little tiny glitches which are hard to see. Um, there's one there. Okay. Um, but you get two nearly fully compressed belts of stuff out of your train that way. And you can imagine you could then split, you could then join those into a red belt or you could send both of these off to a yellow belt smelter stack or, or whatever you want to do. Right, so how do we get a red belt off? So we could do it this way. This is a nice symmetrical design. Uh, we offload here, then we underground to here. 
Um, the eagle-eyed among you will have spotted that this whole side is running at yellow speed, and it's only up, it's only this bit of belt actually which needs to be red. So here the offload is yellow, underneath red, and we've in introduced some buffer chests. Okay, now this simulation has been running quite a while, and this chest still has not really buffered up to being full. And that's because we are very nearly dumping the, the products into these splitters at the speed we're picking up. Right, so every few seconds it increases by nine as the timings tick over. So you can imagine if you were unloading a train and the train dumped all its material, drove off, another train came in, there would be a period of time when the station was unoccupied while it was unoccupied, this would pretty much empty immediately. Um, so unless you had extremely high occupancy of that station, you're going to have gaps in your line. Uh, because we're essentially emptying this chest as fast as we're filling it. So this station needs to be 95-98% occupied to keep a full belt, which is not really feasible. So this is another option. This is takes up more space because we're now using four boxes. But the way this works is there's a box which is feeding onto this split. Then we have two extra boxes which are just to do an L shape around here. What this means is we're unloading from the train roughly twice as fast as we're loading onto the belt. So that means that this station just needs greater than 50% occupancy and we can keep our belts fully compressed. Okay, that's fine, except we've now got nearly as many inserters as if we were unloading onto belts via boxes, right? So we've got four coming in, and we've actually got four going out because we've got the two loading the belts, but we've got the two balancing the boxes. The other issue with this is uh, when the new train pulls in, um, it's quite likely that these boxes are going to be loaded unevenly. So initially, this box will be nearly full, then this box is going to remain nearly full as it's topped up from that one. So when you pull the train in, it's really only going to be filling this box. Um, so I don't know how that would work in reality for getting trains through. Right, this is another alternative. Um, so here we only have the one extra chest in the minute, middle. So this would require sort of... I. Is, is it right to do the mass at 66% occupancy of your station? I think that's about right. Um, now, the middle chest does buffer up eventually. These ones buffer up quite quickly. Um, but th this is only one fewer box and one fewer inserter than this design. Um, I think it's prettier, personally. But, you know... Sometimes prettiness isn't a good cat, good swap for functionality. Um, yeah. Okay. I thought I would just go through some really simple, stupid belt unloading uh, for comparison. So this is two inserters unloading items onto belt, which we then side load and push down. All right. So two fast inserters is nearly enough to load a yellow belt, but there are clear gaps. Two loading onto splitters very, very nearly fully compresses the belt. You get very occasional glitches, but this is noticeably better than this. <clears throat> okay, for the cost of two extra splitters. So um, I think even on a even on an expensive mode world, it's worth doing the the splitter loading. Now if we scoot down further, okay this is looking now at loading red belts because um, let's face it by the time you've got trains you probably have red belts. It's unlikely you're going to be setting up your initial train network on yellow belts unless you are on an expensive world. So there are various standard ways of unloading and I thought I'd go for ones which use minimum number of inserters. So four inserters is close to being able to saturate a red belt. And this is one way to do it. You load 
two on one side, two on the other, and then you side load. And you can, you can do this this way round, or um, like that as well. They both work. Okay. Or you can just push them through a splitter. Um, the difference between the splitter and the side load is essentially that here you have an off by one um, gap in the gaps. Here the gaps line up. Okay. And it's because there's a slight extra distance of travel. You can also get rid of the splitter entirely and make use of the fact that this will put on its right hand side. Okay. So this is quite a simple loader. If you have boxes in between, um, this is better using the splitter because if things back up, it will then back up into the boxes fairly evenly. Uh, this one, if anything backs up and you've got intermediate boxes for the unloading, uh, the boxes will get pulled from unevenly. Okay, this is the paranoid version of it. So you come into this splitter, then you lane balance and push that on. So it still has exactly the same gaps, but it does mean if you had intermediate boxes, so if we had uh, unloading the train into four boxes, and then onto your belts, Okay, so because we're doing la lane balancing, it means no matter what we pull from here, it's going to load balance across these two. So no, no matter whether we pull from this side or this side, it's going to alternate to taking from these two boxes or these two boxes. What we don't have here is a way to alternate between taking from this box versus this, 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 this. Um, which becomes an issue when lanes are partially backed up. But it, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, then um, this is using this sort of thing on two yellows. And to be honest, you know, this made me cry a little bit inside. Uh, we're using five splitters, a whole ton of belt um, just to get a red lane out. Compare this nearly full red lane with this nearly full red lane. You know, just by using the right belt, we're doing much better. However, this is the work of genius to unload a red belt full with minimum stuff. So you can use a yellow splitter on the outside because that's all you need. Then a red one because we're now having twice as much material pushed into it same on the other side and then we side load that two lots of red onto the red and you can see that the this belt and this belt this belt that comes from the contraption and this belt that comes from the nice neat and tidy one they're equally almost compressed so um that's it i think for these various train unloadings um so what i would suggest is if you're doing trains and you're on yellow you would start off with this kind of thing. Yep, and then when you migrate to red belt, then part of your migration is to push the yellow out one square, upgrade the inner to red, upgrade your line to red. Okay, so you've now doubled the unload from that train. And if necessary, go from one intermediate box to two intermediate boxes, if you believe in boxes. Boxes serve two functions. They let you unload a train within reason um, if the material is not being consumed, so if it's backed up. So they let you get your train out, then you can consume material in your own good time while you're waiting for the next train to come in they do the opposite. They let the train unload 
faster than the belt can take the material away, which then allows the train to go away and another train to be not yet coming into the station because you've got a little bit of give in the buffer boxes. So they buffer both ways. They buffer for the train weight, lack of occupancy, and they buffer for pauses in consumption. So they're, they're generally a good thing to have. However, right, if we go back to this example up here, right, this was the original motivating example. We are trying to make green circuits by unloading trains. Okay, doesn't work very well because we are unloading three times as much coil for the amount of plate we are trying to consume. Um, it's very sad. However, if you're going to do this kind of thing with rails, why not go the whole hog? All right, so here's a little design. I'm not suggesting it's the sensible design or a good design. Let's put those back in line there. There we go. Yeah, I'm not suggesting this is something you should ever really do in real life, but it does work. So here we have a, a train, three wagons of copper, feeding six coil machines. Then you would have two wagons of plates um, and those wagons would double up as your um, wagons accepting your green circuits. So let's just get a um, normal cargo wagon. I've kind of faked this with... There you are. All right. So I've faked this with creative chests that have everything in. Um, so this wagon here would have uh, lots of iron plate. So let's do that. Okay, so lots of iron plate in that cargo wagon. And you you could either have it 50-50 set to iron plate, and then the other 50% would be marked as um, green circuit. So then you would unload half the carriage, load half the carriage, send those on somewhere. Or actually, all you really need to do is reserve the last, first square and the last square. And what this does is mean that even if you have completely filled it with circuits, as many circuits as are allowed to fill in, there's always room for plates. So if you ever get to the situation where you send this off to the plates station, it can put at least one stack of plates in. Similarly, when you get here, the inserters start pulling plates out, manufacturing green circuits, they need to put them into the cargo wagon. You're guaranteed there's at least one slot empty ready to accept those green circuits. And of course, once you've consumed a few iron plates, other slots will become available and you can start filling up the empty slots with green circuits. So anyway, that's, that's kind of the trick for how you do that, that so that you move almost complete rail cars of mixed materials. You just need to make sure that you've reserved at least one stack for each of the materials in the mix. So you would send the train off to the iron plates facility, it would pick up plates, it would then drive over here, it would turn the plates into green circuits, and then it would drive off to um, wherever the green circuits are being consumed. So anyway, that's my this, this quite happily keeps four green circuits going off three carriages here and two carriages here. If you compare it to this, where we're unloading um, realistically one carriage here, um, it's, it's able to drive maybe three machines. It just can't, you don't have the capacity on the belt for the coils. So this is an object lesson in why belting coils is daft. Anyway, we've all done it, and there are situations where it's kind of necessary, uh, but it really doesn't work here. Okay, well, um, thanks very much for watching. That's it. I don't think I'll be doing any more on unloading anytime soon, but who knows. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I hope this inspires you to think again about how you unload trains. In the meantime, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and see you again soon.